day. Good morning. I'm fine. And you? I'm fine, thank you. The sun is shining, so that is makes me happy. Yeah, me too. Okay. Well, today we are going to carry on with the Witches Oracle Tarot deck by Marla Brooks, and we've got uh, we've got fantastic uh, um, how do you call it? Uh, following uh, in this and we've got a beautiful I've got a lot of people um, that are following it and they are enjoying it and I'm uh, there was one person that uh, said thank you very much Wendy on my channel so I hope that you uh, follow me on my channel just check out the uh, the reviews that people are leaving behind because that they, they might leave it on your YouTube channel because I do put the address underneath uh, uh, the video and also your website so I hope you are getting reactions from uh, prospective clients or viewers for your channel but you have grown in your channel congratulations you. great Thank stuff you. you're going Thank to become international <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Holland yeah. Holland <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, we're going to c continue with the um, cards and I'm going to start off with the Hippogriff. So I hope you can see it because I only have to work with a small little screen here because I don't know what is uh, happening here. Uh, there are still some issues with uh, subtitles. I don't want subtitles, so I don't know. Stop. Can you see it better now? Yeah, I can see it. Okay. Well, yeah. like we usually do, I'm going to read from the book and then you it's your go. The Hippogriff. The Hippogriff is a legendary creature, supposedly the offspring of a griffin and a mare, a Mara. Mara, that's a rabbit or a, um, yeah, a would you call it the, the wild rabbit? The hippogriff has its legs firmly on the ground, but is clumsily and uh, clumsy until it spreads its majestic wings and soars high into the sky, where it is king. It is a symbol of our higher self, which raises us up from being egocentric to heavenly and can rise to tremendous spiritual heights spirit spiritual heights sorry guys be careful though the hippogriff has a sharp claws and needs to be shown great respect and cautioning um, in the few medieval legends when it is fantastic creature makes an appearance it is because it may very well be the pet of either a knight or a sorcerer the hippogriff warns that people are not seeing you as you really are because lately you have been grounded your spirits are down and only your awkward ungainly sight is on display it's time to take to the air and fly in other words spread your wings crystal gemstone peacock ore peacock ore is a common name for ores of iron and copper is seemingly ordinary until it oxidizes within it reveals a vivid shades of gold red peacock blue the stone inspires curiosity, expands the mind, and has balancing effect on those people who seem to ground, uh, too grounded or afraid to reveal their true selves. The incantation, affirmation, or um, uh, um, you can say is, I spread my wings and now I saw out of the doldrums with a loud roar the higher i get the fairer i'll be when i'm lighter than air i can really be me oh, beautiful card thank you yeah. he reminds me of the phoenix as well yeah the phoenix 
A beautiful uh, bird. But the phoenix is also in the deck, but it looks different. It's more yeah. yellow. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Thank Zal you. ik aangeven uh, de kaart, hè, de kaart waar die voor duidt. Deze kaart, hè, de mensen zien niet je ware jezelf, eh, omdat je anders voordoet dat dan je bent. People don't see your true self as you are different than what you appear, or you act different than what you feel. Ja, het is tijd om te veranderen uh, en laat jezelf zien. It is time to change and let your true self shine and come out. Ja, het is ook een kaart van, hè, van uh, je moet hier wat mee doen. Uh, eigenlijk ben je daar tot verplicht tot jezelf uh, eigenlijk. You have to do, come into action now, because you have, um, you must come into action now to be your true self and do something about it. Otherwise the situation will not change or you will not grow spiritually or wisdom with Lee. Ja, goed. Ja, dat klopt. Daar staat die kaart voor. Een hele mooie kaart. Maar het is wel een heel veelzeggende kaart ook. It's a, a very beautiful card, but it also has a big, big meaning. Ja, klopt. Een belangrijke kaart in de, in de deck. One of the most important cards in the deck. Ja, klopt. Dat was deze duiding van de kaart. Well, I think this card really does... Um, uh, feel one with you, Wendy. Je hebt heel veel voor deze kaart. Oké, okay. yeah. then we're going on to the hourglass. Yes, the hourglass. And this is beautiful. It's like a, a lady's figure. <laughs> well, okay. that's, what men, that's what men think. The hourglass. Die hebben we er niet bij, sorry. Dat ik even onderbreek. Okay, Wendy says she hasn't got that one. I did send it to you, but I'll just um, the uurglas, okay? Yeah. I'll, uh, just because that's the next one in the uh, book. Hourglass, the hourglass is a reminder of t time running out. It is one of the most common symbols of mortality, along with the grim reaper, that's the, the seismon, and his cycle. There are believed, they are believed to have originated in the medieval Europe around the 14th century and were considered to be most dependable measurement of time. They were commonly known and seen in use on ships at sea, in churches, homes and workplaces. When the hourglass appears in a reading, it is letting you know that it is time. Uh, the time is of essence. There is something that you've been putting off that need to be completed. And you are quickly running out of time. Do not delay any longer. The hourglass gemstone is golden calcite. Calcite is a stone of joy, manifestation and spontaneity. Golden calcite is particularly a particular helps you recognize the importance of right timing. So we can take advantage of the perfect time to act. Right now, carry this stone to ramp up your courage and embolden you to act before it's too late. Incantation, like Alice White Rabbit, I'm late for a date. Time has flown by and now it can't wait. No more stalling, it's now time to act. I must do it now. And that is a fact. Okay. So, yeah. uh, deze kaart staat, de tijd is van essentie. Um, uh, stagneer niet, uh, uh, je moet nu actie ondernemen. Het is net zo als het witte konijn van alles in wonderland. Um, de tijd is voorbij gevlogen en het kan niet wachten. Uh, hou op met stagneren, je moet nu actie ondernemen. Mooi. En uh, nu gaan we naar de Limbrief. Dat is het levenspad, zover als ik weet. The path, a path, life path that never ends. 
The limbris, the limbris, is an ancient symbol that relates to the wholeness. Limbris have been an important spiritual part of many cultures for thousands of years. It is a flat surface containing the intrinsic intricately designed pathways but unlikely a maze uh, sorry but unlike a maze there is no dead ends it is one continuous path the limbreth represents a journey to our own center and back again out into the world the limbreth has long been used as a meditation and a prayer tool as a metaphor for life's journey, we can walk the limbreth either spiritually, mentally, or in actual fact. It is a symbol that creates a sacred space and place and takes us out of our ego to which is within. Basically, the limbreth is also a metaphor for the journey to the center of our deepest self, then back out into the world with a heightened understanding of who we are. It is high time you got reacquainted with your inner you. The crystal gemstone is sodalite. Sodalite represents the journey that we make in life, both inner and outer. It purifies the mind and brings us insight into the inner workings of the universe. Harness the energy of soul, so delight when you need help, finding your way on life's journey. The incantation, the affirmation is I lost myself in search of a new me. This should never have come to be. So now lead me back to the place I began because after all that was the right plan. Cool, beautiful card. Deze kaart staat van hey, kom weer terug naar je innerlijke van je ziel. This card stands for coming back to your center of your soul. En bekijk je levensweg terug vol herinneringen en dingen die je hebt meegemaakt en hebt beleefd. Look at the, your uh, life's journey so far. What you have experienced, what you have learned, where you've been, what you've done. Uh, je kan gaan kijken hè, wat anders had gekund. Of um, nou, doen en jij ja, wel doen, zeg maar. Uh, ja, hoe moet ik dat aangeven? Uh, kijk terug in je, in je, wat had je anders kunnen doen, wat, wat, wat kan anders, ik wil niet zeggen beter, want bepaalde dingen zijn geweest zoals gegaan is, maar soms kun je ook dingen in de toekomst veranderen. Um, if you, when you look back on your life's journey, what would you have done different, what could you have done different, it is not better, but what could you have done different. Ja, en dan heeft sowieso in de toekomst, wat kun je veranderen? En wat uh, kun je change for the future? So in other words, when I read the cards, and you've got the five of cups, don't, you can't change the uh, past, you can only change the present and the future. Ja, maar ook hè, kijk meer naar je innerlijke, diep in je innerlijke, je eigen ik. En uh, laat je innerlijke spreken en laat zien wie je echt werkelijk bent. Daar staat deze kaart voor. Um, this card also means look at your inner self, be more conscious of your inner self, not only your soul, your spirit, but yourself as me, I. And what can you learn from yourself? How can you make yourself feel better, more complete? Ja, klopt. Ja. Beautiful card. En dat, ja, dat is de, de, de beschrijving van de kaart. Oké, okay. so that is uh, Wendy's interpretation of the Limbreth. Now um, I've got to stop the video. Oké, okay. thanks Wendy. Interview uh, after the discussion of the cards. Uh, yet last week we had a nice discussion with Wendy about uh, unseen handicaps and limitations, and I did have a a few reaction, a lot of reactions on that. Uh, did you? Um, uh, een paar hebben reacties van mensen. 
Maar hele positieve reacties, ja. Positive reactions, Wendy says. And uh, so it is also because Wendy's a lovely person and I like working with her. And uh, so that my view is my cyber angels can get to know Wendy a little bit more because there's also an other side to being a witch. She's also a beautiful person and a healer. Now we're take, um, I was in discussion uh, offline with Wendy and I was, I said to her, uh, my reading of Libra um, came alive, took over a, a life of its own and uh, a message for everybody came out in Libra. And so I hope everybody will go and have a look at Libra. Uh, around, uh, I think it is about nine minutes and seven seconds. That's when it starts, when it comes out. Now, um, also offline, uh, we, we uh, they also discussed how do you do your readings and Wendy does do it differently than I do. She lets people touch her cards. I won't let anybody touch my cards because I don't want anybody's energy in my cards uh, because my cards are sacred to me. And I know other readers do let people uh, uh, the queerants touch the cards and shake, but I don't. So perhaps Wendy can explain why she lets people touch her cards and how she uh, does reading. Ja, uh, mensen uh, uh, laat ik of ik leg kaarten in mijn consulten. Uh, ik laat mensen zelf de kaarten trekken en dan met hun linkerhand, dus met de doorgeefkant van de hartkant. Okay, Wendy uh, does consultations. Uh, you all know that she works with magnets and massage, and she's also like a social worker, uh, alternative social worker with children at schools. She does let people pull cards, but with her left hand, because it is the extension of the uh, lifeline of the hearts. Yeah. And uh, mensen mogen zelf bij mij de kaart trekken, maar uh, ik geef vaak niet aan hoeveel kaarten mensen mogen trekken vanuit hun eigen gevoel. Um, she allows people to pull cards. Do you spread them on the table? No, no. Okay. Um, ik waai niet zeg maar in mijn hand. In mijn hand uh, mogen mensen die pull cards trekken. In her hands and then people can pull a card with the left hand. Uh, she does not say beforehand how many cards. They are allowed or can pull. She just tells the querent to pull the amount of cards that they feel is necessary to for Wendy to give them an answer. En nadat dat nadat mensen dat gedaan hebben, ga ik kaarten trekken voor de mensen. En dat is ook verschillend per consult, want ieder mens is anders. Dus de ene keer zal drie kaarten zijn, de andere keer vijf. Dat is heel verschillend. Um, she, uh, she lets the querent pull the cards first. After the querent has pulled cards, then Wendy pulls the cards. And um, sometimes it's three, sometimes the querent pulls more cards. It's uh, because everybody is an individual and is different and every consultation is different. So that is the way Wendy does it. Yeah. En na aanleiding van de kaarten, zeg maar, ga ik uh, eerst de kaarten van de mensen uh, openleggen uh, en het verhaal erbij doen. Um, um, once that's done, then um, Wendy first uses the querent cards and then she does the story on those and then she goes into her own cards. Ja, goed. En uh, vaak krijg ik ook nog door dat ik uh, bepaalde kaarten nog moet trekken uh, namens de overleden personen die op dat moment aanwezig zijn. Uh, uh, Wendy is talk, can also converse with people that have passed over to the other realm or heaven. And um, she uh, sometimes gets more messages uh, through her psyche, her intuitiveness, her, her gift. Um, and she pass these messages over to her querent as well. I've got a question for you, Wendy. Do you also do uh, Skype readings or messenger readings? Uh, yeah, 
Yes, I uh, give it. Yes, Skype, Messenger, uh, via uh, um, Facebook of uh, Instagram of uh, via Skype of uh, um, Messenger and from my own business. And uh, do you also do uh, telephone calls, uh, telephone messages? Uh, yeah. How do you do you pull the cards for the the, the querent? Or do you say, give me a number and I'll pull a card? Both, both, yeah. Both. Okay. Yeah. Well, I do Skype Messenger as well. And then people can uh, actually, sorry about this, guys. Uh, somebody's calling me and I can't find my telephone. Sorry. Um, well, that's when you've got the mobile <laughs> next to it. And that's great. <laughs> sorry about that. Somebody was calling me. So uh, when I, I do Skype calls, I do messenger calls and I use the camera and uh, then the people can see the cards with the camera. They won't see me, but they can see the cards that I've pulled and uh, which uh, form of spread I use. Sometimes I use four cards plus two oracle cards or I use the nine spread and clarification cards or I do the star or the wheel. And the wheel I usually use if somebody wants a life reading or a yearly reading for the one card for each month, plus a clarification card. I've got different uh, spreads that I use. Yeah. Now, um, the cat is um, jumping here. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm a witch. I've got a cat. Well, the black cat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, coming back to Libra, because there was a special message there, um, I believe that uh, uh, the, there are certain people in the reading. There was Leo because of the strength card. Then there was the Knight of Pentacles, and that is Taurus, uh, Virgo and Capricorn. So I think this reading will also speak to those uh, zodiac signs. And also, which one, which was it, the King of Swords, and that in the because I read the cards that the big arcana also represents zodiac signs, but also the the King, the first house is uh, um, Aries, and then I count through the houses. So Gemini, because Gemini is the first air sign in the zodiac calendar of houses um, that is the king the king is the highest then the second would be libra that would be the queen and the third house would be aquarius and that is the page so yeah. that's why uh, with the king of swords in the reading of libra uh, it is it prominently a gemini but don't exclude libra or aquarius uh, it might be, it might resonate more with the Libra in the reading uh, to see the king because it is an air sign. So it could also be them. There could also be Gemini in their chart. But uh, basically uh, also that there was difficulties with finance or trying to keep balance between home and work. And uh, also uh, that the lady was standing on a rope bridge and that swings as well. And the, there's so many messages that you can get from tarot cards by just looking at the pictures, not only take the base, basic meaning. What did come out to me um, foremost is that there's going to be very massive uh, changes in, for us all, not only for Libra. Um, this is where the reading took a, over a life of its own. And the, that, uh, for example, that the uh, institutions, municipalities, government um, will be making big changes because of the economic crisis that they are um, uh, foretelling us, uh, fortune telling us, uh, foretelling us um, that there isn't going to be an economic crisis. We can already see it happen at the moment. Um, that parents or people are working from home. I think uh, Europe will be more like the United States as remote work is quite usual there. Uh, so I think uh, a lot of firms will be sizing down 
um, and uh, keep more separate uh, space between their employees uh, so that they uh, other employees can work from home. I think there will be more of a digital cyber swift uh, shift in the future. So if parents are, I, and that's also in my vision, an old fashioned way that mother or fa house father as today nowadays, now you've also got house fathers, um, that one parent will go out to work and one parent will stay at home with the children, that they will find that balance there. Uh, more of the old fashioned way that one parent stays at home. So that's why I think there will be also a lot of uh, kindergartens or daycare centers will be closing down because uh, people won't have, are forced to, in, in some cases, are forced to stay at home and to look after the children because there will be less money to spend and to go to daycare. And I think this has also got to do with nature uh, um, giving us a wake up call uh, of uh, having less cars, less people on the roads. So there will not be so much CO2 in the atmosphere. Um, I've already spoken to people and they say it's fantastic to sit in the garden now because we don't have any planes coming over. It's quieter. People are becoming more conscious also of nature. And funny enough, that came into the reading of Libra as well. Bird watching, why? I don't know. But it's just funny that it came out as well. And um, I know people are frustrated. So this is also a wake up call. Uh, before you start in a relationship, uh, make sure that uh, you have found the balance, that you have found your soulmate or your twin flame, um, so that you will be more balanced in the future. Uh, also, it's a wake up call. Be happy with what you've got. Be thankful for what you've got. Don't always look at what you don't have. Look at what you have and be grateful and thankful. Don't you agree? Yeah, I agree, yes. Yeah. Uh, do you find that back in your readings as well? Ja, dat uh, vind ik ook terug in mijn readingen en uh, de kaartleggingen die ik doe. Ik doe dat dan wel iets op een andere manier zoals jij dat doet, maar het maakt wel, uh, ja, wel wat vergelijkbaarder, zeg maar. Ja. Wendy says, yes, I do my readings differently or I see differently. Well, that's obvious. Every reader is different. Um, but basically, uh, what I'm seeing, it's coming back in her readings as well. Ja, ook uh, op het moment als ik met mensen in consult ga, dan krijg ik door hè, uh, wat op dat moment voor hun belangrijk is. En dat komt vaak dan samen, zeg maar. Dus de dingen die ik doorkrijg, is vaak samen. Of altijd eigenlijk de kaarten. Ik ga eerst altijd een reading doen, dan de kaarten. En dat komt altijd samen. En dat zeggen mensen ook van, oh, amazing, van hoe kan dat? Well, she doen. does the reading, for, uh, she does intuitive reading first and then she goes to the cards um, to, uh, to confirm. And then uh, people find it really amazing. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I just do intuitive reading. And sometimes I just um, read the cards. Yeah. And they find it amazing. How do you know that? Where do you get it from? They think that yeah. they have been on their Facebook or something. I haven't even got time for that. Yeah, no, but it's very heel mooi, want. Uh, wat ik eerst uit, wat ik eerst door kreeg en uitgesproken heb, zeg maar, dat komt weer te samen in de kaarten en en dat maakt voor hun een extra bevestiging. Ja, dank je wel. Ja. Wacht. Wacht. Said to uh, get the cat uh, out of the garden because otherwise she'll go over the shed. Ah, uh, well, thank you very much for uh, talking with. Uh, me today and letting us know you better and i hope um at everything this this crisis will end at the end of may yeah. and what do you think will it end will it be ended at may will the um, first 
need to, like I'm, I, I don't think it will be finished yet, um, but I, I think there is a beginning to opening things up. Ja, er is een begin en uh, net wat je ook zegt van het is nog niet helemaal klaar, maar het is een nieuw begin als het ware voor iedereen. En uh, mensen mogen weer een beetje leven zoals ze hun leven willen. Uh, Wendy is saying exactly the same as me. It's not the end yet. Um, uh, we are, uh, there will be a new beginning. And it is also a very gently done uh, because um, uh, in, a, in a gentle way people will start to uh, discover what they can and what they can't do and what is new and what is old. En ook maar mensen die gaan allemaal een transformatie aan en um, ja, in de toekomst zal het alleen maar uh, niet teruggaan zoals het geweest is, maar alles zal veranderen in een positieve zin. People will go through a transformation um, and it will be different. Uh, it won't go back to the way it was. Uh, and I agree with that because I think this has been a, a wake-up call by nature. Um, and also uh, in general, also partly through man's own fault and through the municipalities. Um, this is a new beginning and we have to learn from this. Ja, zeker. Ja, dat, ja als er allemaal positieve dingen, uh, zo zie ik het wel voor de mensen. Gaan we even terug naar de basis, hè? de ja, ja, eigen ik. We're going back to the basics. Yes, ja. like I said, the old-fashioned way. Ja. ja. More together, ja. like family unit is more important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. to strong. Ja. And it's like the Beatles. I love the song. I put three songs out on Facebook two weeks ago. Coming together. Mm -hmm. I've been saying stand. We we stand together. We stand strong. Mm -hmm. Well, everybody's using that that saying. So now I've got the Beatles. I think the Beatles were prophets in some way or rather in a lot of their songs come together. Yeah, yeah. And stay together. Yeah, OK, thank you very much, Wendy. I hope to see you next week again. Take care. Thank you. Bless thank and you. Be